Hello, welcome guys. So this video is purposely made just to understand why did sell over here. So many of you guys were asking why did I sell my gold over here. So now I'm going to explain to you in details on why did I do so. Okay, first of all, I do not want to go into the deeper time frames of daily and also weekly, which I believe that, I mean, if you're looking at the weekly time frame, it's still going to be pushed upwards. 2064, 2074. But let's look at a daily. Today could be a day where it is retracing. So why do I say that? Is because this today, the decision for it to close either below than this level or above than this level is going to determine whether it's going to continue for the buy below, which means that price could make a pullback into this area or with the opening of tomorrow, if it's just closing slightly higher, there could be potential for it to fly as well. Okay, so that's from the date frame. Now, if you're looking from the H4, where we were just now, so where I took the trade was here. So when I took the trade, what happened was, I only look at my left, this. I focus on looking at what is on my left. So as I saw on my left, there was just, there wasn't any structure or any engulfing buy or even an engulfing fail in this zone. So what I did was, as soon as this closed as an engulfing cell, so what I just marked over here is an engulfing cell. So as soon as it did this engulfing cell, I was waiting for a pullback. So for the, full, for the pullback to happen, I was waiting around this area. So this was the highest swing. It went all the way down to this level. So I'm going to mark this as my low. So obviously price came back to the 50 area and also 61 area is where I was waiting. But 50 area is enough for me to decide on a trade. Okay, next. What did I do? I went down to H1. Was there anything below here for the buy? No. So that's why I realized that this could just be pullbacks for price to move further down. Okay, in this zone, I would also make sure that H1, is there any cell setup over here? So in this case, I'm going to mark my first engulfing buy. I'm going to change this to orange because orange is my H1. Oh, sorry, yellow. Okay. Okay, so what do I see over here? We have a H1 level that is still valid. So I'm just going to mark this as my H1 cell. So the H1 level for the cell is this area. And why do I mark this area? And I'm just going to make it a smaller zone, maybe somewhere like this, so that I can identify where is my H1 level. So it is from 2023 all the way to 2024.1. It's only a 20 pips range. So that's my H1 level. So obviously price did not retrace all the way into that level. But what happened is that it only retraced into the M30 level. So then I realized that at this point of time, we yesterday, if you understand about the market that happened yesterday, there was buying zones that was broken, which means that we were anticipating for buys to happen around this area. So many were trying to buy at 2020.54 when price were around this area, but the buyers got kind of like fucked, which means that it got all the way down, the buyers were just stuck. So what happened next is that there were retracements over here, but this is just the short retracement. And this over here, what happened today was the push, and then it went back all the way up for the retracement. And in the same place, what I could identify is this. So look at my green box over here. So this is, I'm going to mark this for you guys. This is an engulfing buy, right? So I've identified my, uh, my engulfing buy. Next, for it to be a valid engulfing buy, it needs to close as an engulfing sell before price dropping down. So in the same area of the engulfing buy, it needs to close as an engulfing cell like this. 
then it needs to make a breakout for it to pull back into the zone again and this is where I'll be waiting for the sell around this area so that's why if you see my risk to reward ratio for the trade please add 20 20.18 stop loss is at 20.24 so that's around a 24 pips range for my stop loss I, I am aware of the risk to reward ratio for this trade so that's why it is about 3.63 so I guess it's a good trade because if I'm risking, let's just say, I'm willing to lose $100 for this trade. If I am on the winning side for this trade, I would be earning $300 or $400. All right. So we have to aim for trades which gives us a higher risk reward ratio, not just one to one. But I've seen traders who are also profitable trading one to one. So as I said, trading is very personal. You have, you can be profitable. It doesn't matter how, but it's, as long as you are profitable, just keep going. Man. So yeah, that's how I got the sell today from the M30. And that should push price all the way from here down to our take profit earlier at 1424. All right. Thank you guys for watching.